morning everybody we have yet another situation last night while i was just laying in bed i had the heater going and i just heard it just stop looked over e08 error code i looked online people are saying it could be fuel related people are saying it's a bunch of different other things and the conclusion that i believe i'm coming to is that it's all clogged up from not being run on high uh, long enough. So I installed it about two months ago. And people are saying that's usually around if it doesn't run on high um, too often to blow all the carbon buildup out, it basically will clog up. So I just woke up. Um, thank God the sun's out. And thank God that it decided to do this here when the sun is out, where the sun is out, and not up when I was in the mountains. So. Um, let me walk you guys through what I got going on right now. So my diesel tank was mounted right over on my bed. Um, I just pulled the cover off and unplugged the, I used to say the control module. I'm going to go underneath really quick and see if I can, because I just watched, I watched a quick YouTube video on how to disassemble the whole thing and clean it. Um, that was pretty straightforward. So told me what to do. Uh, forgive me. Again, I said it yesterday, I say it today. If I'm looking real rough and crusty, because I just woke up and one thing about me is I don't, I, I guess that kind of that kind of shows with the, the, the van build and everything is just that I don't really procrastinate anymore. Um, I don't believe in it because it's a waste of time. It's an assumption that you have more time to do things when life itself isn't promised. So as soon as I woke up, I put, I changed clothes and then, uh, I'm getting under this van, so yes, if you're assuming I didn't know I didn't brush my teeth yet. Also because my water shut off, because I'm trying to fix another issue, um, and that's with my plumbing system. So let me set you all up right there. Fortunately, I charged all my drills and they're all here with me, so I should be able to uh, get these off do i need to take these off where did i put that clamp nope i'm gonna have to use spanners for this so that makes all of this so much more annoying so i can take the diesel line off all right so here's how things are coming along i just got the uh the intake housing off um, I had to remove the whole diesel heater from the floor, so kind of worried about the seal now that I had originally, but this really needs to be taken care of because uh, I don't plan on only being out here in Utah. It's 40 degrees now. I plan on going up to Colorado, so I'm going to need this heater, and I'm going to need it in general, so this had to happen. So, uh, yeah, I'll update you guys once I clean it and put it all back together, but um, we're about 50% of the way done. Um, this has all been so frustrating, but again, like I said, it needs to be done, so It's just uh, another means to an end All right, so I just removed the glow plug and I started removing this and lifting this out the uh, combustion chamber and I I know for sure this was the issue So let's check this out y'all This is caked in soot Just caked You can Oh my gosh, yeah, it's bad. Look how bad this is. So, for context, right, the way that this happens is if you don't run your diesel heater on high um, every now and then so that it clears out all this carbon buildup. I thought I was doing that by letting it do the full cool down and, and like heat up cycle, but I wasn't obviously. And so, over time, it just gets caked with all this carbon, uh, carbon buildup. And so, um, for the future reference, I'm going to do uh, like a, like a f I'm going to run it on high um, once a week, at least once a week. I'm going to look into that and see if I need to do it more than that. But um, yeah, this is just, this is terrible. This is terrible, yeah. I don't ever want to deal with this again, so I'm going to make sure I take care of this properly. Just fire the heater back up. I just ran the hose here. So it's blowing hot, and there's all, I don't know if you can see it, it's just blowing out all that uh, remaining carbon that was in there, carbon built up. Let that blow for a while, clean up in here, and then I gotta move on to working on the water system because part of that's still frozen. Or, well, it wasn't frozen, but it broke from when it froze. So, we got our heater back. Thank God, all glory to God. Um, I wanna put, start putting stuff back together. 
I would show myself, but you know, I, I'm looking real rough now, so. <laughs> but yeah, hands, uh, proof is in the pudding, man. Whew, so, some time has passed since we've last spoken. I, um, I ended up getting to the diesel heater. Diesel heater now works, it blows perfectly just like it used to when I first put it in. Then I got around to this leak that I had from my water system. Um, I ended up making, I had two strainers, so I ended up turning the two of them into one. There was like a micro crack, a little fissure that developed on the um, on the strainer from freezing and then I guess you say like all the pressure. Um, so I ended up making the two of them into one and that works out. So right now the water system's good, diesel heater's good. I'm trying to think, what else did I do? I did a bunch of other stuff and then I just made some breakfast. Um, even though it's it's almost four o'clock. Well, it's four it's four o'clock now. Um, I'll be heading over to McDonald's really quick to park for a few hours. I gotta update some stuff on my PlayStation, um, and I don't have the the bandwidth to do that out here um, because I've been fighting setting up this this uh, this Starlink. I wanted this. I think I'm gonna pay for it as of like maybe next month because that's a full month. I don't know if they are on the whole like since February's 28 days instead of 31. You only get that's so childish. It's only three extra days, but yeah. So. I'm going to go over to McDonald's really quick, um, just to get that all updated and set up. But yeah, today's been pretty eventful. Um, tonight I'm going to be driving over to Zion National Park, so that should be pretty nice. Um, and then tomorrow I'll be out there hiking, so looking forward to the days. It's nice and sunny today, and it's nice and sunny tomorrow. It's going to be nice and sunny this week, so it should be pretty nice out there. I'm um, looking forward to it, and um, yeah, looking forward to getting back on the road. Was on the quest. Ouch. For internet and it just ended up not working out i just got really frustrated i'm tired of it now but i see the basketball court a whole parking lot huh? and i happen to have my ball on me so i'm like might as well get some shots up might as well so i'm gonna set you guys up and i'm gonna get some shots up My people that I've never experienced Duncan, I'm gonna try and give you a shot of what it looks like and what it feels like. <laughs> I'm gonna try and record it. Let's see. My hands are a little cold, as you can tell by my shots, but let's see if I can get one. <laughs> oh gosh, that's so much harder than it looks. Since my hands are so cold, I can't pull them the wall properly right now. Let's see. Yeah, I can barely. Yeah, my hands are so cold they didn't even open up all the way. Let's see. Oh my gosh. That's childish. I can do it on a little one. Oh, this is a little court. Hit you with the. Uh, uh. <laughs> I tried it.